Pakistan Prime Minister Sheba Sharif is on a two-day visit to Qatar on the invitation of Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of the state. Now, according to his office, the South Asian nation's premier's visit is aimed at generating some trade from its West Asian ally as Pakistan continues to reel under severe economic crisis. Shabazz Sharif has already met with the Qatar Investment Authority in Doha on Tuesday. His office said that he invited the country to invest in Pakistan's energy and aviation sectors. Sharif's maiden visit to Qatar after assuming office is largely focusing at reviewing and strengthening bilateral ties between the two nations. Reports suggest that Sharif was expected to offer Qatar shares in state-owned enterprises, such as loss-making Pakistan International Airlines and the Roosevelt Hotel in New York. He was also expected to offer the opportunity to manage Pakistan's airports. Sheba Sharif is reportedly hoping to secure a deferred payment plan for liquefied natural gas brought under long-term deals, as Pakistan is a major importer of LNG from Qatar. Ahead of the visit, Sharif's cabinet on Monday approved a draft agreement that allows the government to provide troops for security at the FIFA Soccer World Cup in Qatar this year. Sharif is likely to be briefed over Doha's preparations for the Soccer Cup. The Pakistan Prime Minister's Qatar visit comes in the backdrop of ongoing economic turmoil in the country. The country is currently witnessing a balance of payment crisis as its foreign reserves have fallen to 7.8 billion US dollars, which would hardly cater to more than a month of imports. Pakistan's record high inflation, which stood at 24.9% in the month of July, high amount of imports than the exports, and a historic depreciation of the Pakistani rupee against the US dollar. These are some of the factors that are adding to the wars of Pakistan's 220 million people. Sharif's Qatar visit also precedes an international monetary fund meeting scheduled for next week. That is expected to approve a 1.2 billion US dollar tranche of lending, a relief that Pakistan has been eyeing for quite some time now. Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is joining us live with an update on this significance of this trip. Anas Malik, good to see you. Will this visit to Qatar likely show up support for Pakistan? What are some of the economists in Pakistan saying? Are they for it or do they feel like Qatar is just one among many countries that the Prime Minister needs to quote for the sake of the country? Uh, what we know so far and what we understand is that Pakistan and Qatar share historical ties and this uh, dates back to years uh, or rather decades since the since Pakistan's uh, uh, independence so uh, this visit is deemed or is tapped really really important because Qatar has been Pakistan's uh, one of the biggest allies and vice versa Pakistan has been uh, uh, backing Qatar as well and remember when the when uh, the very recent GCC shutdown came in uh, Pakistan was the one that was providing the food security line uh, to Qatar as well. Uh, so that that is that. But uh, owing, uh, coming to the security, uh, to the economic bit, in fact, uh, the, Qatar has now uh, agreed to invest three billion dollars. That is something that is that will be regarded as something very significant. This visit is particularly important because it will also uh, uh, further go on to discuss the handing over or the potential of investments in uh, Pakistani airports that Qatar. W uh, was wanting for years. This is what we know. Uh, also, the potential for investment uh, in Pakistani uh, uh, international airlines own Roosevelt Hotel in the in New York City in the U.S. So, with vis a vis that uh, that bid, we know that the economic cooperation is something that Pakistan is currently eyeing for. And of course, Afghanistan will also uh, come under uh, uh, under scrutiny or under the radar for talks because uh, remember Qatar has been that one country that has been actively supporting uh, the Afghan talks, Pakistan being its neighbor. Uh, and time and again, both the countries have been complementing each other uh, with regards to the Afghan peace process. So by and large, this is a very important deemed, uh, this, this visit is deemed very, very important, especially with regards to the economic uh, cooperation and this recent announcement, or which was rather being hinted at, but it is now confirmed that Qatar will invest $3 billion. That would be seen as a sigh of relief uh, given the country is currently battling uh, one of the worst economic crises since its independence. Eric? 
All right, we'll have to leave it there. Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik, thank you very much for that update today. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.